Hi, y'all. This is Nisha back to do Pisces reading. If you guys enjoy this reading, please drop a like, share, and comment. All right, Pisces. Let's, okay, first I got an ex-abuser, and I got a Libra for you guys. We got a voodoo doll coming out. All right, take back the power you have given someone is um, trying to control you. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, please drop a like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. We're going to get some um, information for you guys that's important. We got a false witch here. <laughs> All right, it is safe to take off the mask. Careful who you pretend to be. All right, so somebody could be there calling you false as well, or somebody's like lying, saying that you're doing something. I got Libra abuser. Okay, so there's a, a, a ex that want to talk to you guys. They could, like they said, take back your power. They like to control y'all, or this could be a boss. Okay, somebody you had a one on one relationship with trying to control you, or trying to take something back, or trying to call you like false here. Let's see here. We got here access, uh, access your untapped power. Your manifestations are coming with the staff. Okay. So some of you guys are going to be getting some type of confirmation as well. That stuff you've been manifesting is coming. The coven, new people will enter your life. Okay. You're about to meet your soul tribe. All right, so some of y'all could be also me. This could be somebody in the coven. This could have been somebody in the institution that went to Pisces to join the institution. And you said no, they could be like, oh, Pisces fake, okay. Let's see what else is going on here for y'all. Yeah, we got fire. Like a phoenix, you will rise, okay? You're undergoing a huge transformation, okay? You could be dealing with a fire sign that said this about you, or, you know, you could have a cross watcher in here feeling some type of way about you, Pisces. All right, with that, you'll rise like the phoenix. I'm getting Scorpio energy. Maybe it's a Scorpio line on you or saying something to you guys. We got the ace of swords and the lovers, okay? So there could be a Gemini that's completely in love and enamored with you guys, okay? Somebody trying to calculate something. Somebody could be want to reconnect with you guys. There could be a commitment coming through with them two parts showing up like that. All right, so some of y'all could be signing a contractual agreement to Pisces multi-party. So there's a lot of people watching to see if you're going to reconnect with this person or not. You know, like, I wonder if Pisces going to connect with this person. I wonder if Pisces going to say something here. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. All right, so... Somebody could be coming towards you guys to heal something or help you relocate, okay, your family as well. Or you guys could be relocating with family or buying a huge house, a mansion or something. <laughs> it could be like eight rooms. I don't know. Some of y'all doing something. There could be a payout coming too. All right, with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo energy, your opposite energy. Family is important here. So there could be a crazy. Some of you, somebody could be telling you something like you guys got to sign some paperwork to get some type of money released to y'all. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but I do feel like you guys are proud of your family. You're proud what you built, okay? Somebody could be proud of you as well, Pisces. We got the two of Pentacles management. Yeah, somebody, somebody managing something. They could be managing the spell, Capricorn energy, um, back and forth energy, uh, two jobs, two gigs. You guys could be doing that very well. All right, we got the nine of ones. Okay, somebody's like doing something to make you guys give up, okay? Or they want you guys to give up on something is what I'm saying here. Yeah. All right, so Sagittarius energy, the, the, the benefit is that you, like they said, you're going to rise above this. Somebody could be blocking money out of y'all life. Damn, seven of ones and the king of pentacles showed up just now. All right, so unexpected, something that was blocked or something that was denied is going to be released to you guys as well. This could be a huge bonus or a huge money opportunity. There could be a Leo either blocking y'all or defending y'all. Seven of ones could go either way. Or you guys may have to defend y'all money or defend something that you built as, as well. All right. A Taurus could be reaching out to you too or unblocking you, Pisces, that blocked y'all with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So somebody blocked y'all, all of a sudden they unblock you and now y'all talking. The Queen of Cups, okay. Uh, advice, trust your intuition, five of swords. It's always some jealousy in this motherfucker somewhere, okay? So y'all got somebody in the background or craze particularly that could be jealous of what's going on in your life or somebody was doing something to piss you off or somebody's pissed off because you're getting what you want. This could be a lot of money. This could be family inheritance and they've been trying to keep you out of something and somebody been trying to keep manage you, okay? We got the Empress. Libra energy. I told you the Libra was an abuser or ex-abuser that's coming back around as well. Uh, here go another Libra showing up or a Taurus here, okay? There could be a Taurus you guys want to talk to as well. 
Y'all outcome is good though with the Empress. Somebody could also find out they're pregnant as well at nine, the ninth trimester, about to have a baby in Sagittarius season. Congratulations. All right, the baby ready to pop. Okay, but for other people, uh, other Pisces in here with the Empress showing up as the outcome, it's like something gets better, something gets abundant. All right, are you feeling good as well by the time Sagittarius season rolls around? We got the two of pentacles and the will of fortune. Yeah, if your money been funny or just your life been up in a, a like a whirlwind, a seesaw is what I'm hearing. Um, that's gonna get better with the will of fortune. A lot of y'all, because us uh, Jupiter is about to go back into Pisces at the end of the month. <laughs> that's probably why too. Shit, the, it's gonna be a shift here as well. So good luck, okay. And we got here. Two of Cups, okay. There could be a Sagittarius telling y'all they love y'all. There's a beneficial partnership coming through, okay. The struggle is real, is what I'm hearing, because the nine of ones is that struggle card. But I feel like you guys are definitely getting out of it. Are you going to be coming out of this in a partnership or something that's very strong and solid, okay? Signing something, all right. Solidifying something with that Two of Cups. There's a soulmate here for y'all, Cancer energy. All right, we got the four of pentacles. Okay, so holding on to y'all money. You may have to hold on to some money and not give it to a Capricorn or somebody like that. Let's see what is going on. The six of pentacles, yeah. Um, somebody's like <laughs> rubber dub, rubber dub dub. Somebody like trying to get y'all like butter y'all up and stuff is what I heard. So they can get some of that cash. Okay, six of pentacles, four of pentacles. But I feel like it's a one-sided relationship. Somebody know y'all have a lot of money coming in. All right, the Empress come with the five of swords. Wow. All right, so yeah, somebody like um, jealous of y'all lifestyle, jealous of what got y'all got going on. Yeah, so y'all gonna be winning. The Queen of Pentacles, your money is like somebody after y'all money or something. The King and King, uh, the Queen and King of Pentacles is here, so there is a counterpart here for you guys. It looks like it's for the Taurus, okay, or Libra, but um, somebody mad because y'all hold on to y'all y'all cash or y'all getting a lot of cash and that y'all not cashing them out with the six of pentacles i feel like they want some money somebody could also do something to try to get your money to clean the cups but trust your intuition something's telling you guys to hold back giving somebody something that's probably a good idea also the tower somebody could have held back something from you pisces okay and it's coming through and i feel like you guys are going to get that like it's a sanction being lifted and stuff off of y'all money if it was any type of hold there, if it, something was a hold up because they needed a signature, or somebody was just being spiteful, the five of swords came out twice. All right, just to spite you because they don't want y'all to get this money. Okay, it could be your color. That's the reason why. We got here white terror. Okay, mother creation, goddess of peace and protection. All right, so the empress. So somebody, mother here is uh, significant. Or you get you protecting your family. Okay, you putting something in there to protect your family. All right, so yeah, she's coming through for you guys. We got Azura, right? Self awareness, wisdom, and empowerment. All right, so you could be coming aware of who this person is that's a block in y'all and y'all family, or a block with the love that you want. <laughs> y'all might want to use that too. Cover your head up, garnet. Okay, I'm getting Capricorn, Aquarius. That y'all need a uh, in a Libra. That y'all checking or y'all thinking about um, you can't trust them or something about them changes your mind. Passion, sensuality, and grounding. All right, so garnet, okay. And we got pyrite. Yeah, so y'all could be getting crystals and jewelries and um, doing some type of protection spell. Confidence, luck, and prosperity as well. Yeah, the nine of wands is somebody that's insecure. Somebody could be like mad because you guys are not insecure and they could be doing a lot of things to make you feel insecure, like um, messing with your beauty and stuff, beauty magic. I'm hearing some beauty spells on y'all for some reason. If you look good or somebody trying to do some type of cloaking spell where people can't find you or see that you're attractive. It's weird. Okay, let's see. All right, so the ninth house of expiration, Sagittarius house, second house of resources. Yeah, because maybe you guys are your beauty, your model, okay, or people give to you because they be you're beautiful. Also, this could be something about your credit as well. You could be a foreigner. Um, there's discrimination here too when it comes to your money and getting something. All right, yeah, you could be foreign in a foreign land, a foreign country, trying to get your money transferred, trying to change it, okay. You know how you transfer money to um a different currency and stuff, something like that could be happening too, but y'all second house of resources, something about your credit, okay, something could be poisonous here, it could be a Sagittarius here that y'all may um, have to watch here too, this could be about schooling, this could be about uh, Sally Mae, okay, so if y'all signed up for any type of student loan, I feel like some something crooked here going on, all right, because the, the Apple, 
is um the the arrow is in the apple okay so someone could be trying to get you in debt put you in debt or make it seem like you're in debt all right so some resources is coming yeah transition this is just a transition okay the climate will change when jupiter go back into you guys uh when Jupiter go back into you guys sign at the end of the month. So something could be trans and something could be funny up and down and wishy washy. And we got here Saturn and we got Pisces sensitized. Yeah. And we got opposition. It could be another Pisces fucking with y'all. <laughs> I'm going to get this. Okay. Saturn is coming out in all these motherfuckers. Okay. So when Saturn goes direct, you usually, um, you get, you keep his blessings and stuff. Okay. If you learned your lesson or you didn't do no fucked up shit or you wasn't spiteful while Saturn was retrograde, when he, when he turned direct, he usually leave you with gifts or something that can't be taken from y'all. This could literally be you building up a great credit score and now you're able to be approved for something that was not open to you guys. Okay. That's going to allow you guys to explore and travel and do a lot of things like learning here. Okay. You could be going to school, learning a different language, getting your passport sensitized okay so something could be like really sensitive or somebody um maybe you guys are sensitive to sunlight okay sun protection i know i just got that <laughs> uh, you could be sensitive to your lover your kid or something like that coming up pisces <laughs> i saw Olga, night nature okay so there's something natural that you can do okay to remedy something all right, so maybe you're going out into nature more again, grounded, okay? Um, you could have a background with this. I feel like, too, you may be traveling um, to somewhere that um, at this ancestry and DNA. All right, tea leaf here, something about your family, hydromancy, some, some type of illusion here. All right, somebody is actually causing you guys black magic or bad dreams or doing something casting on you guys with hydromancy, illusion. All right, <laughs> and we got a book because somebody wants to know y'all secrets, okay? Chronology. Somebody thinks that somebody's like delaying something, or somebody's been delaying something in y'all life for like the last six months in here. All right, we got the book. Okay, meaning you are in, you know the truth, or you know something about a family member, or about something. All right, somebody could be trying to create a wedge between you and your family, kids particularly, and you know this. Okay. This is also saying, you know, write write your dreams down, write what you see, your visions down so you can decipher them. Don't tell nobody. I feel like somebody wouldn't believe you. Somebody could be trying to make you seem like you're crazy as well. All right. So magic one. Okay. Energy is how we attract and where it goes and focus at. We got here book of shadows twice. Wow. I don't know who in y'all life and stuff, but they are definitely trying to get a hold of something. All right, y'all secrets, okay? Or somebody knows, somebody could know y'all have like a secret account and y'all got a lot of money, okay? Somewhere. <laughs> somebody trying to come in and get something. Keep your work a secret. The truth is gonna, uh, the truth is being hand from y'all. All right, who? <laughs> Magic one. All right, money key. Ooh, left. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Y'all got, y'all either got a mojo. Good morning, how y'all doing? Uh, y'all got a lot of y'all got a lot of money here. Somebody knows too, or shit, y'all mad, y'all manifesting a lot. It's like somebody wants the key to the lockbox and shit. <laughs> money will be flowing effortlessly. A closed opportunity. Remember the seven of ones and the king of pentacles. Remember I said an opportunity that was closed is not going to be open for you guys. Money key magic. So something that you was told no to, or something that you couldn't get. I feel like too. Jupiter goes direct on uh, November 23rd. That's probably when this opportunity going to unlock for you guys. The seven of ones. It could be in seven days, too. It could be in seven hours. Keep your eyes open. All right. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, Capricorn, the boss. <laughs> it could be a Capricorn, okay, that's doing this. I smell food and stuff, and I didn't even start to cook. <laughs> I smell steak. Oh, somebody could be trying to hang you at the steak, or, you know, somebody's on a witch hunt. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. That came out of nowhere, okay? So this could be like a foodie war, okay? Who the best cook? Okay, people be having all type of war. The, somebody could be, like, feuding with you guys, okay? The boss. We got Capricorn showing up here. And we got fifth house passion, Leo. 
that's that seven of ones. And then we got here Pluto. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah. So this motherfucker is trying to stop you guys from finding love, transforming. And also, some of y'all maybe want to call. You maybe want to come your own boss. I don't know what your how big your ambitions is or your dreams is, Pisces. But some of y'all maybe want to transform your love life, your career life. And somebody here has been doing illusion magic, stopping you guys from doing it. Okay, this old damn crocodile that don't want to roll over and die. Okay, so somebody's like a dinosaur here. Saturn, <laughs> the old guard versus the new guard and stuff. <laughs> See? Somebody like, no, you're not gonna break tradition or some shit here. All right, so we got renewal inner resources and stuff, and then we got here serious authority figure and ambitious, and then we got here romance and entertainment. Okay, this was being lit up. I feel like too, somebody wants you guys to like pay for everything. We have the square, we got Saturn, and we got the sun, y'all. Yeah. And Taurus at the bottom. So I feel like it could be a Taurus that y'all could be trying to get to. Or like you like beautiful things or beautiful people. Or somebody trying to make you feel like less attractive. But you're beautiful with the Empress, okay? You could be older than this person, 10 years older, whatever. You could be the older one here. Is you dealing with a young fool or some shit? Um, but we got the square Saturn and the sun, okay? So something that is going to be eclipsed, okay? Or you guys are going to realize something about this uh, Capricorn or this Taurus. It could be Aquarius with Saturn, because Saturn rules Aquarius as well, Satan. All right, somebody could be on some satanic shit, or somebody, like I said, witch horn, could be saying that you are the witch, and they ass is hunting you down, Pisces and stuff. Weird ass shit. Like what? <laughs> they like, Pisces is the reason I don't got this, and that somebody could be blaming you for their fucking issue. Yeah, the five of coins, it's an earth sign that's blaming y'all, that's pissed off, okay, because they abuse y'all. We got here, or you guys could have got you and your kids away from here, or you are moving your kids from something that's like not good. We got here, Ten of Pentacles, Rise to Riches for some of y'all. Somebody know y'all destiny. Somebody know y'all going from Rise to Riches, okay? Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Are you doubling up, okay? The Virgo energy, we got the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so somebody missed out, okay? they like, I want to be with you. So someone could be sending you guys intentions like, I changed, I want my family back, okay? The Ten of Cups, your energy, all right? And we got the Page of One. Some of y'all going to get good news, okay? About a kid or a family member, too. Yeah. Um, You're going to get some type of good news. Page of Ones, Ten of Cups. This is really good, Pisces. We got here the nine of ones. I got that ugly motherfucker again. And the king of pinnacle. Somebody wants you guys to feel insecure about your money, okay? It could be a Taurus or a Sagittarius as well. All right. So, I, but you guys, like the seven chakra is here with y'all money. Like, this takes true wisdom. This takes time and effort. You had to go through a lot of trials and tribulation to get the king of pinnacle. All right. You had to have a lot of determination to get this type of money. And somebody here is like trying to make y'all feel insecure about it as well. Our struggle. Somebody's making your way hard on purpose and shit because they got passion and love for you. <laughs> they emotional five of ones and they petty. Y'all got a real petty energy in here. This could be competition. Your competitors are competitive. Are you somebody like y'all that a lot of people are very attracted to <laughs> the will of fortune? Okay, beautiful. All right. So yeah, that will of fortune is coming up again. Sagittarius season. Some things are gonna change if you don't see it now. Um, what's your advice? Okay, the nine of cups, fuck, you get what you want. <laughs> there you go, Pisces. Okay. They said go ahead and like put your intentions and in out there, your passions out there. What are you passionate about? What are you wishing for? Okay, what do you want? Uh, y'all advice is the nine of cups, the wish card. So make a wish. Make a wish, girl. I don't know what y'all been wishing about. Okay, but that shit is about to change. Wishing for like peace and clarity. All right. <laughs> we have here a uh, religious factor your love life is um, being influenced by your religious upbringing spiritual path yeah like i said witch hunt somebody could be very religious traditional a lot of tourist energy coming through as well this could be a reason why you and this person or somebody your love life all right playfulness okay somebody plays a lot of game i right, recapture to recapture your romance allow the inner youthful spirit to shine through and we got codependency. So, so somebody stuck on you guys, express your love, okay? Or somebody stuck on the way you used to love them or something, it's the way something used to be. I mean, because the message was abuser, ex-lover. All right, so your ex-lover, uh, 
you either cut them off or you stood up or you took back your power. They want you back in a submissive world. It's not going to happen. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? So someone may need to go to rehab. All right. Or somebody's like uh, stiff and boring and stuff. Or they try to like steal your joy, Pisces, or something. It ain't going to happen, Captain. All right, we got the ninth house. Some of y'all, too, or uh, someone could be trying to steal your passport, or somebody could be trying to stop you guys from traveling, all right, seeking out new things, okay, doing new things, meeting new people, going new places, whatever you guys decide to do. A lot of Sagittarius energy, so uh, maybe you guys are ready to travel, see the world, or go somewhere different. I mean, uh, <laughs> you might want to go and nobody know your name. <laughs> all right, so are you feeling lucky? Okay, y'all could be on the spiritual pyramid. <laughs> Shira and the wounded healer. All right, we have North Node and Saturn at the bottom. So yeah, some of y'all are like looking at this and shit, and you realizing that something is better. I feel like something is like um, conflicting with y'all. Love and um, adventure. Okay, balancing something out. I want to know who this is. <laughs> All right, interference of family. Some of y'all Pisces, y'all family is interfering with um, a relationship. Okay. It could be a family member that's codependent, okay, that wants you to remain loyal to them. We got gay or bisexual that's influencing y'all right now. Yeah, because somebody may be in the closet. They don't want to come out. They may be afraid. I don't know. We got here interference from lovers. Damn, Pisces. Interference from family and lovers, okay? We got missed the love of lovers. So y'all got a new friend. Can you trust this new friend, Pisces? All right, we got here 10 of Pentacles. Some of y'all got a new friend that's wealthy that's coming in. It could be a Virgo that's coming in. That's a new friend with the 10 of Pentacles. Y'all had the 10 of Pentacles coming towards y'all. Remember in the beginning? Okay, yeah, they go that 10 of Pentacles. This 10 of Pentacles has been secretly watching y'all, though, okay, um, and y'all family. And we got here abandonment. So somebody feel abandoned by y'all. You do rule the Eight of Cups, okay, walking away. We got the Eight of Wands. All right, so this new friend or this Sagittarius or this um, Virgo want to talk to y'all about something. All right, the past friend, some of y'all, y'all past friend is coming back. They've been watching y'all. All right, mm, rejection. So mm, somebody, that's why somebody pissed off because secretly they feel rejected by y'all, okay? Y'all got a peeping Tom around too. Somebody like peeping and watching and shit, lurking and searching. They on all y'all social media. I don't know how many handles y'all have. Social media handles, but you know the basic one, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Somebody's watching and shit, lurking and shit on y'all because they feel rejected. But there is a new friend around here though for y'all. Sometimes whistleblower and Taurus. <laughs> so this Taurus is pissed off because y'all blew the whistle on their asses or something. <laughs> Let's go ahead down here now. Let's see here. So that Taurus is here somewhere in here. They like, uh, you said something they didn't like, all right? Or you called them out on their bullshit. All right, so let's go. So Spirit wants y'all to know, beware of a Taurus, okay? Um, they could be blowing a whistle on y'all. Who knows? You know, they could be the snitch, okay? I don't know what they snitching on. Only y'all can know what they snitching on y'all about, okay? Or they think they blowing a whistle on y'all, or they think they know your secrets, okay? Um, money secrets. I'm going to get in there and see why, though. So why would you identify the Taurus as the whistleblower? <laughs> So this person, that y'all don't know who they are because they privately watching y'all as the private detective. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, uh, Page of Swords, and the Page of Wands. They want to say something to y'all, okay? Some of y'all, they are, this could be your kid watching your ass and going back and telling your baby daddy or your baby mama on you, okay? Or this is what your kid's father and mother want the kid to come back and tell them, oh, do uh, Pisces have a new lover? Like somebody's watching to see if you guys are sad, okay? And they're going back to report to somebody, whether it, it could be bad news or good news, okay? This is Aquarius. This is a Leo that is watching y'all, okay? Trying to figure out if you got a new lover. I mean, they telling this person that the Taurus is going back to tell them that. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. But I feel like every time they go back and tell this person something, it's really good news, page one. All right. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, they be on that bullshit, don't they? This Taurus here blowing the whistle on y'all. All right, so we have rest and recharge. So someone don't want you to have any peace and stuff. This is the problem they got with y'all right now, okay? We got the egg at the bottom. Rest and rejuvenate, okay? Rest and recharge. Rest for the uh, proper energetic health. Careful not to overwork your body, okay? So someone could be a sloth or somebody could be lazy and stuff, and they could be putting all their work on you guys, okay, Pisces? They don't want to do nothing. This person could be lazy and shit, <laughs> 
Now, this Taurus is targeting you guys. Why? Oh, I said it. Somebody was doing a beauty spell on you guys, okay? <laughs> the hell going on here? Uh, uh, be careful who your hairstylist is and who do your makeup and nails or whatever. Because somebody on some bullshit, okay, you're becoming more magnetic. Bring out the best that you hide. So somebody could be trying to make you feel insecure where you hide your face and stuff as well. Somebody wants you to feel like that. That nine of ones came out a lot. All right, so somebody is like a coward or some shit here. And then we got here pendulum. All right, so you're not ready for change. All right, try to um, try to find balance in your life. So this Taurus may not be ready for change, or this person wasn't ready to change, or this person wasn't expecting you to change up on them. So if y'all asking about a Taurus, okay, uh, particularly a Taurus and possibly a Capricorn, they ask is not changing. Remember, it say codependent. All right, but they asking questions about y'all, okay, trying to figure out how they can change the situation, but they're not ready for the truth. It's like people asking, it's like whoever this is, they ask a question about y'all, Pisces, but they're not ready for the truth or they're not ready to hear what the fuck's saying, but they nosy and stuff. They're not ready to change either, okay? That's what they're hearing too. If they go into like a psychic or they go into somebody and they're questioning about what's going on with y'all with the pendulum, usually it's a yes or no and stuff. So this person don't have no internal um, compass. We got the emperor at the bottom, sure enough, for y'all. Let's see how this person... All right, so it's an Aries that want a new beginning with y'all, or they even want to put a baby in y'all. This could be your baby father, your ex-husband, okay? They could be... Uh, y'all may learn that y'all ex-husband or y'all spouse had a baby with somebody king, um, the emperor with the ace of wands. Let's see what else is going on. You know, sometimes you're like, what? I thought that motherfucker was single somewhere. <laughs> So this Libra been watching y'all ask three three of ones at the bottom or this Aries, okay? <laughs> Somebody got their eyes on y'all asses, okay? So this person, I like, feel like it's an injustice that they can't come back and abuse y'all or be with y'all or use y'all. User and abuser came up, okay? Now somebody is looking at y'all and stuff and um, they trying to figure out how to, way to manipulate y'all, okay? Like, how did I get my ass over to Aries, Libra, Pisces, Okay. Or a Gemini or a Virgo is trying to figure out how they can manipulate their way back into your life, okay? So, shit, you see their asses, okay? As above, so below. Um, someone feel like, you you know, it'd be justice to be with y'all or be married to y'all. Like, somebody feel like you're their yin to their yang. <laughs> we had a page of ones. This person want to say something. Somebody want to deliver good news to y'all. We got the eight of swords, but they stuck on how to do this, okay? Or y'all going in circles with this person. We got the seven of cups because they're confused about what if you will take this offer. Yeah, that this is that person that feel rejected. It could be a Scorpio, all right, because <laughs> they asked a snake or something. Seven of cups and the page of cups. <laughs> so some of y'all got somebody that want to come and offer y'all something, but they ask is a snake and they don't know what to do. The outcome is the six of ones. They may reach out to y'all on social media. All right, y'all may have blocked their asses on y'all social media. They may come to y'all under a false disguise, okay, um, with the hangman and the six of ones, Leo energy. And we got the temptress, Sagittarius energy. They waiting for the perfect time to reconcile with y'all and the nine of swords. But this person, like, really is, like, guilty or this person is a snake or this person got snake his way or this person make you question their asses, okay? Or you should be questioning their asses, okay? The nine of swords and the page of cups. Why the snake? Why they worry and shit, okay? <laughs> So, yeah, because somebody already did a snake move on y'all, so they know they got to come correct. But I feel like that's what this person is worried about, and they're not ready to uh, do right. Five of Swords, it's a mind game, Pisces. Be ready for it. This person playing dead. If it's so Aquarius, yeah, they playing, they playing a cruel type of game on y'all asses, okay? They, they in it for the blood sport, okay? Somebody likes to play the game, manipulate you, lure you in, and be drop you on your damn head or some shit like that. Um, and that's why they know that. And that's why the secret rejection. All right, the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive and persistent and working on it down. <laughs> this person like gotta hammer some shit out. You like you gotta beat this person in the head for them to change or something. But this is what they're telling y'all. Somebody's like literally sabotaging y'all or sabotaging the relationship on purpose. I don't know. Somebody like struggle love. All right, they're struggling here now. All right, so the sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. All right, the sword in the rose. And we have 
I the acts, <laughs> break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandon. So this person be going silent, break, then they break their silence, they come back. Yeah, the eight of swords. This is repetitive. Okay, definitely like that. Uh, narcissistic abuse. They want you back because you're their supply. We got abundance at the bottom, Pisces and stuff for you guys. Yeah, I feel like this person hates to see y'all happy, period. All right, so something like, mm, you ain't going to be happy on my clock. Oh, you smiling? Not today. <laughs> That's what this person wants. So they may like to call y'all when y'all um, when they feel like you are feeling good and bliss, happy. All right, so we have the bear. It signifies success. A speculation. Some of y'all are going to hit the stock market and y'all going to get some money. All right. I was just reading on that. Okay. Because he was talking about the federal government and how you do the I-9 bonds and stuff. I'll be always reading about money. But whatever speculation you guys did, I don't know if you guys play the market. Okay. But they said you do something good. Also, this could be a speculation because bears are always represents hibernation, kids, protection, mother. Some of you guys did something to hide your kids, protect your kids with that five of pentacles. And it, it was the right thing to do. Okay. Maybe you put a restraining order on the father. Maybe you said the father was abusive. Maybe you did. I don't know. But it was something that y'all did at the right time. Or it's something. Or maybe you went in hiding, okay, for a moment. Because bears represent hibernation. All right. Whatever you did, it worked out. Or it's going to work out. Something that's telling you go hide your kids and your husband and everything right now. Then you should do it. Because your, your speculation are right. Successful speculations, okay. Um, X marks the spot. All right. So the bear indication of success. Let's see what else is going on. The bride. Okay. The bride to be. Oh, we got the king of clubs and the king of spades. Okay. Coming through. <laughs> so we got some kings out here. I'm telling y'all. All right. So the bride is assured for the single person fulfillment of the highest aims when it's near. All right. So distant means a turbulent marriage. So somebody could be definitely interfering with your marriage. Okay. Or trying to. But it, this says that for those who are single here, Pisces watching me, there's some type of fulfillment that's coming through, okay? If you're married, there's somebody fucking mingling and causing fucking problems in your marriage here is what they're saying too. But you're going to figure out or you're going to identify who this person is, okay? And then we got here, children's. Oh, so nice. The shepherd is at the bottom too. <laughs> I was about to sing a song, but I ain't going to do it. We ain't going to do it. <laughs> All right. Cheers just signifies friendly disposition and gentleness. Okay. So there is some type of kid or correlation with kids right now. Or there's a friend here. Remember it said a new friend, 10 of Pentacles, 8 of Ones, that um, has a soft spot in their heart for y'all. And they want to do something like Queen of Diamonds. Okay. You're my diamond girl. And the shepherd is an indication of intense love of a, a love of life and a strong fellowship, okay, feeling, so somebody could be expressing, feel, um, somebody could be expressing their feelings for you guys, somebody's going against the sheep, or somebody is like, I'm going against the grain, okay, <laughs> definitely, they're like, no, nah, I got to talk to you, Pisces, I got to say something, I'm going to need you to say something, baby, all right, let me wrap it up for y'all, all right, cur somebody currently watching y'all mad and shit, somebody currently watching your books mad, and <laughs> are you watching my books being mad? <laughs> somebody got the evil eye on y'all for real. And they, wow, it's because somebody, either y'all bisexual or gay and somebody, somebody is too, but they mad that you living out loud, okay? Purple rain. Pur this could be y'all family member that's gay or bisexual that's mad at y'all too. All right. <laughs> Somebody like, what? They watching y'all like, how you get to live out loud? And I can't. All right. Or a lover or somebody here hiding the fact that they um, also the same way and they mad at y'all. I don't even understand why. But they that came up again. Wow. And I cut the deck. So there is something, some sexuality is at play here. Somebody mad about what you like or who you like. All right. So they... <laughs> So maybe y'all ask want to come back into your life and say this or explain this or you learn this about them. The hell, some of y'all current lover um, got some secrets they want to talk to y'all about. Page of source, <laughs> refuge, uh, governor's dream, okay, and reveal mystery here to human, okay, yeah. The mystery that was here, yeah, somebody been cop blocking, okay, for mortals. So, so uh, yeah, you guys are going to get a vision of uh, this air sign, Leo, that's been blocking y'all, cop blocking, okay? 
side block is also yeah spirit has got y'all back something's by so like if somebody calling you gay and bisexual they ask really gay and bisexual that's just gonna backfire like somebody gonna be exposed okay i don't know if you care but this person probably care about their reputation then they get exposed to shit because they say um liberation deliverance from enemies both visible and invisible so something that you don't know about pisces is being blocked by your angels and spirit guide as well and if somebody like also trying to tap into your energy and your life uh whoever they going to to get the readings from they don't they can't even get their ass the proper reading because it's blocked <laughs> that's what i'm hearing <laughs> i feel like somebody is getting readings on y'all but that shit is blocked okay we have the star card so we got a prayer all right, Leo, Aquarius, and then we got all four corners, okay? So you will say Taurus and also Scorpio. All right, so Fountain of Wisdom gives success in all venture, okay? Clemency and equilibrium and protects against uh, accidents, uh, tax, and court. So somebody could be, like, trying to uh, put you guys in a lawsuit or somebody could be trying to sue y'all, okay? Why, why do I feel like if you guys are in court, okay, something could become national or this could be like publicly exposed, okay? If this is like a company or organization that discriminate against gay people, white people, black people, some type of discrimination in here could go worldwide or a company could be put on blast here, but discriminating against people too, okay? There's somebody in there doing that shit. So your application or something you went for could be have been denied. Remember the seven ones, the king of pentacles because of your sexual orientation or what you identify. This company or this person could be also being um, audited for that too. Ooh. And that shit could get big with the world card, okay, where the company be exposed on like the social media news, okay? It may be a story about their asses and what they did, all right, or how they discriminate against people. <laughs> They do that shit every day. <laughs> spirit, heavily assisted from your spirit, guys. Successful career. Yeah, somebody didn't want you guys to be more successful than them. You know how people say, I wish you success as long as you don't make more money than me. This is somebody that's trying to keep y'all from making more money than them. Because the King of Pentacles is wealthy. So there it could be like, um, like somebody could have been holding you back from getting like 10, 20,000, $40,000, okay, a degree or something that would have put you in a different tax bracket, some shit like that going on. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, protect y'all, sir. All right, so you got heavenly assistance from your angels and your guys, sun, the golden energy of the sun bring fame and fortune. Maybe you guys are famous. Somebody may not like famous people. I did get clerk in there for you guys. Tree of life as well, okay? So bad habits, okay? Maybe your family don't want to give you guys something because your sexuality. Maybe it's a piece of the inheritance you guys are supposed to have. And somebody, like, denying you, like, your fair share of the uh, inheritance because of your sexuality. A lot of that shit is going... So that shit came out twice, so they want to touch on that. But we got the sun and the tree of life. So the sun saying some of you guys are going to be noticed or there's going to be an opportunity to showcase your talents and your abilities, okay? And spirit got your back, too. Your angels are helping you guys for like these unseen enemies that's trying to stop you from getting something or because we got the kids here, gentleness, okay? This could be like um, parents for rights and stuff. Like you might need to get your, um, be protected from somebody. I don't know why they coming through like that too. All right, let's get some spiritual gifts for y'all, Pisces. <laughs> uh, I see your true color. That's why I'm, this could be workplace too, okay? Somebody could be fucking they, fucking on their boss and stuff. <laughs> I just got that too. And the boss is the one that's gay or bisexual and fucking with people. Okay, bullying their asses. Oh, Lord. What does spirit want y'all to focus on? All right, becoming. You're, uh, you, you can easily tap into people, fantasies, and become them. All right, multifaceted, complex, but well-rounded, making you hard to read. All right, so somebody trying to read you, but they're having a hard time, okay? Somebody could be becoming unglued, okay? Be somebody could be becoming delusional, or somebody could be trying to become you guys. Remember when you had uh, uh, that, uh, your, what was that book? <laughs> your book of shadows, okay, came up twice. So th this is what y'all doing. Somebody could be confused because they could be trying to mimic y'all, and they having a hard time mimicking you guys. And somebody could be making a clown out of they ass, um, out of they self too here as well. That's what I see. All right, so y'all becoming more... Uh, so you're going to know, so be aware of that, okay? Or maybe they saying this is what you need to do, okay? Never let them see, never let your left hand know what your right hand doing. So somebody may never see you coming, okay? I feel like, too, some of you guys are going to be, like, getting these, like, visions, okay, of what people want. 
Let's see here. We have sweetheart. Oh, Pisces, this is you. All right, so somebody think you guys are a sweetheart, <laughs> or you might have a lot of people that think you guys are a sweetheart at this time. Okay, if you a guy, a heart thrive, <laughs> you take my heart away. <laughs> I don't even know, but we got here. You live from love, seeing divinity and love beneath the surface and shaping others' world and experiencing through the perception of the heart. Okay. So I feel like you could be turning somebody that's like cold and ruthless and shit to like they come become putty in your hand. OK, you have this type of energy right now. We're on for you. <laughs> I didn't want y'all to step into that energy. OK, demolisher. OK, you have the ability to step out of the past and let go of the old energy and step into new with the ease. OK, you thrive on change. So there's some type of change. In, plus, you guys are mutable. I right, probably easier than any sign to change or go with the flow. So there could be something significant. Wow, we got a lot of snakes here. So snakes always represents like that phoenix rising from the ashes or changing, all right, or shedding old skin or like letting go of something old that no longer serves you. All right. So you could be taking on a different role here. All right. So somebody, somebody's like a snake whisperer. And what I mean by that, it's like somebody keep whispering in your ears and giving you bad um, advice to do something that they know will harm you. Okay. So somebody giving you bad advice. Don't listen to their ass. Listen to your own intuition as well. Pisces and stuff. Yeah. Arousal. <laughs> All right, so y'all could be arousing jealousy in people this week. I don't know what the hell going on here. <laughs> How you like me now, pretty baby? <laughs> All right, so yeah, somebody's looking back at your ass. Okay, empathetic. Y'all will come out with empathy, okay, as well. All right, so you provoke sexual arousal like the phantom dancing with them in a vibration dance of enchantment. Entice play with their hearts, the most deep in hand desire. So somebody could be like, um, yeah, y'all bringing out the freaking people, okay? <laughs> All right, now, what's that, Jodeci? Okay, I cry for you. Somebody like, I cry for you. <laughs> I'm Mr. Wrong, so come back home. <laughs> All right, we have here, okay, you have an empathetic ability of being able to feel another person's emotions as well as their thought and energy, having no control of awareness of this change. Yeah, you becoming warm with somebody or someone get lost in your thoughts or get lost with you. You definitely could be dealing with a narcissistic person as well, empathetic and aroused. Or you, I think you aroused like crazy shit in people because with the demolisher, people be ready to leave their whole damn family and their life behind for you. I ain't going to say nothing else. Yeah, manipulator and out of reach, okay? Somebody could be upset because they can't get in contact with you or, or you can't get in contact with somebody. But we got manipulator, and it did come up in reverse and stuff, but I'm going to read it anyway. All right, so y'all could be dealing with a lot of snakes and manipulator or one person in particular, all right, likes to manipulate you. You could transform You could transform into someone that you are not to fit the agenda making you extremely crafty and achieving your dreams and go be sure not be sure to use your gift wisely so there is somebody around y'all that is like you know they they got the gifts too but they they are like crooked crooked as a neighbor they like to manipulate y'all so y'all need to know that y'all have this ability too but it's a use your power for good as well i feel like you guys are though but the ones that ain't, ain't the person is going to be smart enough to catch this shit I'm getting strong Libra and Aquarius energy. Okay, it could be a Scorpio. <laughs> Mind control. All right, so Leo, this could be a kid manipulating y'all too. Pisces, like, what the fuck? Don't you think I know what the hell you're doing? Some of y'all, y'all kids are manipulated. Smooth criminals. It could be a Taurus or a Leo or a Sagittarius. We got here the sun card. All right, so <laughs> there's, a, there's a Leo manipulating y'all. Okay. We had a two of swords. There's a Libra manipulating y'all. Somebody making bad choices for your kids, too. Or right, some of y'all know this, and you're going to say, mm -mm, you ain't supposed to be doing that. You know I taught your ass better than that to be disrespectful or something like that. Somebody making bad choices here. And, like, don't you be talking to me like that. Yeah, put some respect on my name. We got here the hermit, okay? Yeah, Virgo, too. Um, Y'all doctor or something or a... um. A spiritual healer is giving somebody bad advice here. The hermit, and we got here the star card at the bottom. All right, somebody could like it could be the kid's father, kid's mother. Somebody's manipulating the kids or giving the kids bad advice. And if the kid is going to like a counselor or somebody here or like outside party to fix family issues, somebody is literally telling somebody the wrong shit. Like, don't be with Pisces, don't marry Pisces, don't listen to Pisces. And you got the wisdom here, okay? 
You could be enlightened about whoever this person is, okay? Especially if you like taking your kids to counseling or you taking your kids to a specialist that's supposed to be helping them, or you you're you there could be like a relationship counselor here that's trying to get you guys relationship back together. They're giving bad advice, okay? Don't listen to your wife, don't listen to your husband, don't listen to the kid. Somebody is a bad advisor here. We got here um the death card and the ten of us, yeah. A lot of heaviness, a lot of ending. I set this shit on fire. Somebody need to be fired, okay? Whoever this person is, if whatever they are, they're 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 not doing their, their job right. And we got the A, because somebody has <laughs> the wrong shit on their mind, five of swords to one. And then we got the ten of ones and the ace of ones. So someone can't think straight anyway. They're thinking with their lower region, okay? Whether this a man or a the woman, they can't do their damn job, right? Because they too busy trying to poke something and they're giving the wrong type of advice and stuff. So y'all may learn this and stuff. It could be um, about anybody, but we got the sun card that show up. So enlightenment, okay? Illumination about somebody that's supposed to be guiding. This person supposed to be a guiding light. They actually can't think right. I feel like this person is leading several people wrong too. You guys may identify them. They could also be like in a public eye with the star card. And um, oof, they bad. Bad for blood, bad for the health. Y'all advice is the six of ones and the hangman. Wow, this person may actually be in the public eye. A Leo, another Pisces, or um this y'all gonna discover something about this motherfucker. <laughs> um Somebody could also be bullying somebody. This is shit is getting deeper though. Um, I do feel like somebody could be like bullying or not another Pisces or Leo, uh, and to the point that somebody like want to commit suicide. Like I should put the suicide hotline in there and stuff because um oh my friend told me a story. This little girl, um it may or may not matter, but uh a guy was stalking a teen, a little girl. I think she was like a eight or nine and told her if she don't meet up with him and do what he said he gonna kill her family so she told her dad what this guy did and her dad met up with him and um went to court and they considered it self-defense remember we had the mama bear showing up here protecting your kid so this fucking creep went to this little eight-year-old girl told her if you don't come meet me I'm going to kill your family. She told her daddy like she should have told her daddy, right? Daddy, somebody online being a fucking creep. All right, Tom, about if I don't fucking meet here, I'm going to kill your family. Daddy went up there to meet his ass, okay? And he got locked up and he ended up going to court and getting sentenced for life or some shit from doing that shit, okay? They said what the daddy did was self-defense. So um, you might discover, y'all might want to check your kids' um, internet or they search history or see even if they're going to school. Because, you know, a lot of kids do schooling online now because of the world and stuff. Who the fuck is talking to your kids, okay? Because there's a creep here, a manipulator here. That's just a story for some of y'all to give you an idea of what could be happening and stuff and why this, this sun card is coming out, okay? Because there is always weirdos watching this stuff as well. Or your kid, your kid, mother, or father could be like, you tell your mom or something, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. You better not tell your mother X, Y, Z. You know how people get, and your kid might finally say, hey, mom, the reason I can't tell your dad, I can't tell you this because such and such threatened my ass. Somebody could have threatened a kid here not to say something. All right, so that's one of y'all message here. Now, if it's not the kids, it's the professor that's threatening somebody to shut the fuck up. Somebody like trying to silence somebody because they blew the whistle. All right, so two of swords. Wow, bad decision. Libra, Sagittarius. Somebody like, and this motherfucker pissed off that I'm even telling y'all this again. All right, two of swords and a nine of ones. Okay, bad choices. Somebody also stalling and stuff as well because they're trying to change. They're trying to change. Okay, this could be somebody too. Like if the kid is um, bisexual or gay, um, the parent could be bullying them, okay, to be uh, in a same sex relationship or something. Yeah. Uh-huh. The parent could be bullying a kid because uh, I didn't raise you to be gay. What the fuck? Okay, the kid could be under pressure. By the other parent. Yeah, nine of swords and they ass is guilty in here watching this reading. All right. They cross watching and they mad and they like, oh shit, Pisces gonna ask me something. Pisces gonna question me. You might want to look at your skin. You um I'm not advising this to everybody, but you might want to check your kid body out and make sure they don't have any type of, bru of bruises on them as well, because this could be child abuse here is what I'm saying too. Wow. Is somebody worried that this shit is coming out? We got the hangman again. 
and we got the nine of swords and we got yeah and i feel like somebody is attracted to young kids here seven of pentacles or somebody it's called grooming somebody been grooming a kid here all right this fucking pedophile in this reading okay and that shit is coming out now, if it's not a pedophile, it's not somebody been grooming a kid. There is somebody, y'all ex here, that's been doing something real foul. You're going to discover it. They could be bisexual or gay. They didn't tell you guys. Um, but, yeah, this is coming through as well. So, y'all tired of being bent over. Somebody also could have, like, um, set you guys up to be sacrificed, okay, or put you in a compromising situation where you can be raped and stuff. So, don't be going to, like, wild-ass parties and shit because this don't look good. All right, so protect y'all energy because somebody like restless, lustful, all right, um, predator type of energy to me coming in very fast and stuff. But you got the hangman again, like something gets delayed. Maybe the car break down. Maybe you guys' car stop working, a credit card. Maybe you can't get some money. It's just like divine intervention here and you don't make it to this fucked up event or something because it's like somebody doing that as well, okay? We didn't get toxic, which. All right, Pisces, walk away. Wow, this person is actually going to come back. This Libra, it's a Libra. <laughs> Somebody actually going to come back and ask y'all to you for y'all forgiveness and want to connect with y'all again after what they did. Do a background check. If you've been called to do a background check on somebody, I don't give a fuck if they're not talking to y'all. They could be talking to your kid. Somebody tell you go do a background check on your daughter or your son, boyfriend or girlfriend, and discover they as a predator. Okay, I'm getting that type of energy. And then people like, don't be saying all that. That like, yeah, somebody like, oh shit. So somebody coming back, like Pisces, forgive me, I love you and stuff, but check that background. Check what they've been into. If it's been a long time since somebody talked to you, if it's been like years or months since you like had contact with an ex, check their background. Yeah, because somebody is marrying you guys, okay. Somebody's trying to like come off like they like you, but I doubt it, okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody's a reptilian, a snake. All right, so <laughs> you disrupt things and stuff in the order to enable people to see themselves differently and being able to heal. You are the ultimate mirror, all right? So you triggering somebody as well right now, Pisces, okay? You could be saying something out loud. You know how they say you just got to say that shit out loud. You got to call a fucking duck a duck or a goose a goose or a pedophile a pedophile or somebody that have tendencies. You got to call their ass out. <laughs> even if it's your, um, even if it's your damn family, okay? My little, my little um, thing always dropping. I don't ever secure this shit. Secure the bag. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, um, get some opal Pisces, and I'm going to get out of here to make sure you protect your happiness and stuff. All right. <laughs> hey, Angelica Santana. Um, how y'all doing, everybody? We had happiness, creativity, and imagination, okay? And I feel like, y'all, somebody wants you to think it's your imagination running with you, but when them motherfucking, uh, your mother instincts or just your instincts to feel like somebody got cruel intention or they give you the EBGZ, go with that shit, okay? Because we get them sensations for a reason, okay? So somebody could be like, oh, Pisces, that's just your imagination. You overthinking, da, da, da. No, because look, yeah, the universe wants y'all to know this, okay? Um, we got the spider woman. Yeah, something is like coming off and stuff. <laughs> yeah, everything is well. Thank you for asking. All right, she who prays from a central source, okay? So y'all could be creating something. I feel like they want y'all to create some type of ending, though, because Callie here. All right, so only the kids, I think her kids or her husband, her story was she was like going crazy and stuff, killing shit out, Sagittarius energy, okay, that her husband, that um, her husband had to turn into a baby to invoke her mother instincts, okay, so she could stop killing the fucking world, okay, or people. So this could be also that, okay, killer instincts, mother instincts, okay. Oh, we got goddess of rebirth and transformation. Hey, the blood of Jesus, welcome. Yeah, so this is a, definitely something ending here. All right. She comes in. 
and looks like could be a fight too, like court cases she represents too. If you're going into battle, somebody's going to lose. Okay. So somebody doesn't want to lose. So I feel like somebody could be trying to avoid court dates and uh, they could even plea out. Okay. You know, people be like that. That's why plea bargains go in because somebody don't want to fight it. And they just say, okay, I did it and stuff. And that's how a lot of people be guilty and stuff. So I feel like somebody, they probably don't want to fight you guys. So they're going to do that as well. Dude. But I feel like with the hermit, yeah, something is like watching y'all, protecting y'all. All right, that go that motherfucking professor again, okay? Some of y'all are like questioning a teacher here. Somebody feel need to be questioned, their expertise need to be questioned, something need to be looked into, or something need to be reviewed with the hermit card showing up. I'm going to get out of here. All right, so yeah, re, um, also something is telling y'all to ghost a Virgo or ghost somebody here. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Some if Somebody's a snake, okay? It could be a Virgo telling y'all this, okay? That is a detective card. Bye-bye. Please drop a like, share, and comment. Talk to you guys later.